What's going on YouTube? It's Matthew and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. We are back on the channel with my first editing tutorial in what seems like three months when it's actually been two months. So a lot of people ask me how I do my animated titles popping out, popping in, sliding, just stuff like that. When I looked up a tutorial for this on YouTube to link to people, there isn't one. And I don't, I, I, I honestly have no idea why because this is actually a super easy thing to do but it's super complicated to figure out how to do. When I figured this out, I was so happy. My videos improved a thousand times and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this today in After Effects. If you guys aren't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video. Without further ado, I'm gonna get into this video. We're using After Effects today and yeah. Okay, so once I'm in After Effects, I'm going to create a new project. I'm gonna hit on this to create a new composition. I'm gonna name this Titles. Alrighty, and we're gonna hit okay. All right, so adjust this to your liking while you guys are doing that i'm going to take a sip of water i've been editing all day and while i'm editing all day this is what i like to have by my side a gallon of water what we're going to do is go up here and this is the horizontal type tool this is basically your text i'm going to click on this and i'm going to type in uh animate me now, this is actually the fortnite font because i made something similar um with this stuff earlier so i'm going to size this up i hang s on my keyboard dragging that up and i'm going to just drag it to the middle another thing you do is you can go to align and you can go to the second and fifth option that's basically going to um, align it to the middle of the page i'm going to go back to character and i'm actually going to change actually i'm just going to change the text color to white now not a lot of people know this um, some people will try to animate their stuff and it'll do this. It doesn't come from the middle. I mean, maybe you want it to come from there, but most of the time it just looks really ugly. I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo that. To make your thing, your text animate from the middle, what you wanna do is you're gonna hit Y on your keyboard and you'll see this little target thing. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drag it to the middle. So basically what this does is it allows me to do that. I don't really know how to explain it. I mean, I just know how to do it. Same thing, if I do it over here, it's gonna come from there and so forth so on all right to animate this title let's do a pop effect like this i'm going to drag my cursor to the beginning and i'm going to hit s on my keyboard while clicking this to bring up the scale hit this little clock icon to select a keyframe and we're going to set this to zero drag it forward a little bit let's do about that much and i'm going to set this to 100. you know i'm actually going to set this to 255. what that does is it animates it Obviously that looks terrible though. It looks like one of the presets in iMovie. So we're gonna fix that by dragging this in a little bit to, to speed it up. Basically this is point A and this is point B. The closer they are together is how long it takes it to get from point A to point B. So if I hit play on my keyboard, that goes pretty fast, but we want it to be a little bit faster. I'm gonna extend my timeline, drag it in a bit. I don't want it to take a second. I wanna take under a second, so. That looks okay. Now to make this smooth, I'm gonna select both of these and I'm going to right click keyframe assistant and go to easy ease, or you could just hit F9 on your keyboard. Once that happens, it changes it to easy ease. So it does this, it's a little bit smoother, but still not what we are going for. So I'm gonna hit this little button. This is the graph editor and something super confusing to first time users of Adobe pops up. And this is what you call the graph editor. If you're trying to animate stuff, this thing is a lifesaver. So I'm going to extend it a little bit more and you'll see we have this little, this, uh, this curve, this S curve. Now to make this smoother, I'm gonna click on this little square and you'll see these things pop up, these, these yellow lines. While hitting shift on my keyboard, I'm gonna click on this uh, yellow dot and I'm going to drag this to the left and drag this one all the way to the right. And now it's like a super S and it does that. It makes it super smooth like those YouTubers that you watch. You can also do this. That looks not very good, so I go with that usually. So yeah, that looks great. Um, to smooth this out a little bit more, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to add some motion blur to this. So what you wanna do is you want to enable motion blur with these four little dot looking things. That's how I describe it, I don't know. And for the whole composition, I'm going to enable motion blur by hitting this. Guys, you're about to be amazed. Okay, I'm just gonna hit play and you guys can watch it. It's that simple guys. It is super easy and when you get tools like Animation Composer to speed up your process, 
literally all I have to do, I'm gonna open up a new composition. I'm gonna type something in like something, you know, maybe I wanna change the font to something like Gotham, that's a good font. Okay, Gotham bold, align, second and fifth, drag this thingy to the middle, open up animation composer, go transition presets, bada bing bada boom, and you see this overshoot balance, we're gonna hit in, it has been applied, boom. And to make this even smoother, we're gonna enable motion blur. That honestly looks incredible. That is how people make titles. You may watch phase members or you may watch people on YouTube like Rice Gum. This is how they do it. Um, most likely they do use Animation Composer, um, but this is how I do it. I honestly think this looks way better. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I make tutorials like this, also reaction videos to other people's work and break it down. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And yeah, peace.